Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm here with a video that I think a lot of you guys are really going to like. I'm going to show you guys how to easily and free download and install Google Chrome OS. Um, now, first, right off the bat, I'm going to say this is not anywhere close to what Google Chrome OS is going to look like. Um, well, it's going to look similar, but this does not work very well at all. It's really early. This probably won't even be released for another year, so you gotta really keep that in mind. This is mostly just to you know mess around with it and take a look. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys how to install it and uh, yeah, mess around with it. So anyway, let's get this one started. Okay, guys, um, this is pretty simple. Um, you're gonna need to download a couple of programs, assuming you don't already have them, um, and it won't take that long. It, it'll take a little bit. You'll have to download a few things and install it, but it shouldn't be too bad. So anyway, first thing we're going to need, obviously, is Chrome OS. So, I have a bunch of links in the description, but uh, it's going to be I have two links to download Chrome OS, depending on how you want to do it. There's a torrent, and uh, let me just, before I get all a bunch of questions, yes, this is 100% legal, don't worry. This is totally, this is totally legit. It's open source. And someone compiled it, and it does work, so don't, no worries. So anyway, there's a, two different ways that you can download it. You can download it via torrent, which is, for the purpose of this, this is what I am using. So um, and it does work. Um, so you just go, I, I will have a link to the Pirate Bay, so you just download it. It works, no problem. Or you can download it, download it from Gadget. Um, this one is very simple. You do need to create an account, but it takes roughly 10 seconds, and then you can download it, and then you will do, you will need to pick the right version of it to download, but I will get to that in just a second. So, go ahead, get either one of them going, and then we'll go ahead and go to the next step. Okay, so now that you have Chrome OS downloaded, and I will note that the only thing that you're going to need to do if you decide to download it from Gadget is be sure that you click the VirtualBox uh, uh, option. Uh, there is another option for VMware, um, and that can work sometimes, but generally just go ahead and be sure to download the VirtualBox version. Um, so yeah, it's not, it's, not, it's not like you're going to miss it. It's really simple. So anyway, now we're going to need something to use Chrome OS in. Um, this what we're going to be using today is VirtualBox. Okay, VirtualBox is a really cool free and open source virtualization software that will allow you to run different operating systems inside your own. So basically, it basically runs the entire operating system just like a program. This does work for a lot of different things. I could run XP, I could run Ubuntu, or I can run Chrome, Chrome OS. Okay. So, just come in here, and I'll have the links to all of this in the description. Come to this page and download whichever version of VirtualBox you need. If you have Windows, if you have Mac, or if you have Linux. So, download it for whatever you have, and then you're good. And next, we're going to need, I'm just going to let, make sure that you guys do have this, you're going to need WinRAR or something similar to unpack your Chrome OS file. I'm sure almost all of you guys will have either WinRAR or something similar but just quick forewarning you will have to unzip it okay so anyway now at this point you need to have make sure that your Chrome OS is fully downloaded and you need to make sure that your VirtualBox is downloaded and installed okay so next we're going to come over to our Chrome file so I've just got it right here so you're going to need to un, uh, unzip it. Okay, so I'm just going to open it up, and you can see here, here's my WinRAR, and you just click it, and then you just extract it, or you can drag it out to your desktop, which is I'm what, what I'm using, but it doesn't really matter. You just need to have it in a place where it's not going to be ever deleted or anything. You might want to make a special file or something, just be sure it's in a place that it won't accidentally get deleted. So just unpack it, and it shouldn't take maybe more than three or four minutes, and you're good. So this is our file. Okay, so now let's go ahead and show you guys how to use Chrome OS inside VirtualBox. Okay, so now after you know that you have everything set up, let's go ahead and install Chrome OS. Okay, it's pretty simple from here on out, especially if you've used VirtualBox before. But if not, it's not a big deal. I'll be right here to walk you through it. As you can see, I already have it installed, but I'm going to go ahead and do a new install just to show you guys what I'm doing. Okay. 
So if this is your first installation of VirtualBox, you won't see either this and is pretty much all we blank. But all you need to do is click, just click New. Okay, so it'll bring up the wizard. Go ahead and just hit Next. Now you need to name it. So it doesn't really matter. Um, preferably, you know, you want to type in maybe like Chrome OS. Just something that, you know, you can rem remember, although you probably, <laughs> probably won't be a big deal, but just name it something. So Chrome OS Test is what I'm going to do. So now you come down to the OS type. This is really simple. Just click on the main operating system. And it'll give you a drop-down menu. Go ahead and hit Linux. And Ubuntu will be pre-installed. I'm sorry, pre-selected. Um, now go ahead. This is the main re way to do it. Don't even, there's not going to be Chrome OS on this list. So just you leave it at Ubuntu. It'll work fine. Let's go ahead and hit Next. Okay, now you're going to need to pick the RAM. Uh, this dip, this is kind of going to be dependent on your computer. Um, the more RAM you can give, the better. Uh, it kind of depends on how much RAM you have. Um, I'd recommend a half a gig of RAM to uh, give give to your operating system. Um, if you don't know, you might want to open up Task Manager if you're on a Windows computer and just take a look at what your RAM is. Um, if you don't know how much you have in it already, and just you know pick out like a, maybe about half or so, as long as you're not just you know just punching in a random number. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put in a gig right now because I have plenty of RAM on this computer. But it shouldn't matter too much as long as you have more than 512 megabytes of RAM. So go ahead and hit Next. So now, this is this is going to be a little different. If you have used VirtualBox before, you probably won't have done this. So, you know, you don't need to read any of this. Basically, it's going to come down. Normally, you would hit Create New Hard Disk. But now, we're going to use exi use Existing. Okay, so I already have this, but I'm going to re repick it. So you see this little folder icon right here? Go ahead and click that. It's going to pull it up. Now we're going to come up here. It's the Virtual Media Manager. Come up to the top left and click Add. So you're going to hit it. Now we're just going to come out to the desktop where we know that our VMDK file, which is what we uh, just downloaded, is there. So just go ahead and select it and click Open. Give it a minute. And then there you go. So we're going, ahead and going to go ahead and hit Select. Okay, so now we have it should have this selected, and you should have your Chrome OS uh, image selected. Okay, so go ahead and hit Next, and then you're going to hit Finish. Okay, so now you see it flashed real quick, and then you see right here it says Chrome OS Test. Okay, so once you know that it does, it's showing blue, and you obviously everything's right, you didn't get any error messages, you're ready to go. So all you need to do is just double click it. Okay, if I can hit it. <laughs> And a little menu will pop up. Now, basically, you just need to sit back and wait. Uh, Chrome OS does is once it comes out, it will it does say more like eight second boot times. But you are running it inside your own computer, so your computer is having to run two things at once. So give it some time. It might take 10, 15, 20 seconds. It's not going to be too bad. And yeah, just wait for it. Okay. So you get this kind of crazy screen, and now you see Chrome, Chromium OS. Okay, so you're ready. All you're going to need to do is punch in the username and password. This is going to need to be uh, tied into your own Google account, and you can make a separate Google account if you like. It doesn't really matter. All, but all you're going to need to do is punch in the Google account email. So you know, let's say it's Google at you know Google.com or whatever your email address is, and then put in the password. Go ahead and hit enter, and you'll be all set. So anyway, guys, that is how to freely download Chromium or OS, or is it going to be called Chrome OS, onto your computer. Real easy. Um, might take a little bit of, you know, finagling, but hopefully you guys should get it real easy. And yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys.